Life is supposed to be lived with passion. Life from the minute you wake up to the minute that you go to the sleep is supposed to be fun. Life is meant to be lived with passion, intensity. You are sitting here with endless possibilities today. You're at the beginning. You have time. You can figure things out over the next two, three, four years that can make an impact on the world, an impact on your journey, and it starts today. Hi, my name is Anita White of Grant Thornton, and today Andy Thomas gave us a wonderful presentation to our administrative support staff here at Grant Thornton, and it was amazing, and it was a dynamic presentation. I would recommend them to any corporation here in Charlotte. Think that work and life don't interact again, here's my central theme again, is ridiculous. It does every single day. Let me share with you a really cool idea. This is the old philosophy, right? You and my, I do kind of a doctor scribble, so don't last too much, but work hard, okay? Get success, and I'll just kind of do that, and be happy. That's how it always used to be told to us, right? Our parents said, you work hard, you'll get success, you'll be happy. You ready for this? This is revolutionary, here we go. You ready for this? Be happy, work harder, because you are a happy person and you get success. You like it? Isn't that cool? That's the way we should be. Andy was just such a phenomenal motivational speaker. I needed this personally in my life. Um, everything is normally very good, very happy. But the last couple of days it's really been in a dark place. So I think God sent him here. Your company started by creating, are you ready for this, the jackhammer. Have you heard the phrase, the jackhammer, the term, the jackhammer? Your company created the jackhammer in 1912. Your company's early drills helped to forge the Panama Canal in its creation. Your company, in its early drill you know, capability and technology, helped to carve, are you ready for this? This has amazed me. Mount Rushmore, you were involved with that. Your company, in its other incarnations as it grew, as it added more technology and more type of technology, helped to put pumps on the very first atomic submarine in the history of submarines that were atomic. Your company and the mindset of folks like Simon Ingersoll and the Rand Brothers that began all of this helped to develop the very first diesel electric locomotive. You did all those things, and you're still doing so many wonderful things through the acquisitions of Train and Thermo King and Club Car and all these wonderful companies that you are now collectively a part of. Richard Simmons, you want to hear about Richard Simmons? Okay, you all remember the, the, the workout guru, Richard Simmons. Ladies, you know, okay, ladies, you know, okay, a little higher than that, ladies. Okay, with the little shorts on, you know? Oh, yeah. Embarrassingly tight shorts, I might add, for a guy that's like, he wasn't always perfect on his weight either. I kind of never could figure that out. Richard Simmons was at a station of mine as my guest. I had a really good producer, again, to talk about the role that you all play in my world, who lined up Richard Simmons. I was thrilled to have Richard Simmons in my studio, in person, in Buffalo, New York, WKBW. Big, big station, 50,000 water. And so the secretary, you have to picture, she's this really nice, probably 45-year-old lady. I was like, oh my God, Richard Simmons is coming in here today. You know? So I was like, yeah, do you want to meet him? Oh my God, yes, you know? <laughs> so, so it's like, so, you know, you get Richard Simmons coming into my room. And so she's looking through the window into the booth, right? And Richard goes, <laughs> okay. Oh my God, you know, I got to go into the room with Richard Simmons. So I go, no, I can't remember her name, let's say it was Dolores. Dolores, have a seat right there. Richard gets up in his little teeny tiny shorts and jumps on her lap and goes, whoa, okay? I'm like, I'm like, 
This has got to be one of the weirdest moments in broadcast history I've ever had. Just a few weeks ago at the Hilton down here for an international convention with their financial gurus from all over the world on employee engagement. And they're all talking about what they're going to do when they retire. That was one of the lesson plans. They actually had everybody write down on a sheet of paper what they're going to do and they wanted to have you share, to, you know, kind of a sharing lesson. It was a cool exercise. But what you're going to do when you retire. And I know I threw them a curveball because I got up and said, suppose you don't want to retire. Shouldn't you like it enough that when you go into work, this is what it is. This is the fun. This is the passion. This is the time. This is who I am. This is what I give life. This is me. And I get paid to do this. And it's a lot of fun. It's up to you. It's not just up to the faculty. It's up to you. It's not just up to career services. It's up to you. It's not just up to God. It's up to you to spend time, to put your energy in it. And please, if you only remember this one word, live life with intensity. It's fun. Live life with passion.